Hello Gemini, welcome to your horoscope for April 2021 and happy Easter to you all. So Gemini's on the fourth of the month you've got Mercury which is going into your eleventh house of friends. So it's good for social times or um with friends, um having those those talks with any if you have a talk with a friend about something, it's good for communication. On the 15th of the month, you've got Venus going into your 12th house, um, which is the house of um, secrets. It's also house of institutions as well. Then on the 20th of the month, the, uh, Mercury goes into that house of secrets too. So there could be something coming up to do with secrets or some sort of like institutions um, coming up. It's a 12th house is a very funny house. Then on the 24th, you've got Mars going into your second house. So that could be good for money, for earnings. Um, it could be good as well for um, uh, anything to do, like I'm just trying to think for you guys, for Gemini's. Um, on the good side, it's going to be very good, you're more confident at work, where you might be bringing in a bit more money coming in as well. On the negative side, could be more frustrations and a little bit of arguments there. Um, as, as well for some of these videos will also maybe this month is about giving off being what you feel like at terms of work but being of service or giving back to others as well um so let's look at the cards i do say see for some of you this month it might be you feel like that sort of your world is sort of turned upside down a little bit where it is a bit hectic there's a few problems that are coming up arise for others it's like it again it's like it's a bit like you're gonna be ready for a fight or going you know taking charge or something and it's also a bit of like you don't really know what's going on a bit clueless you can't understand about how everything's working out and it's like you're trying to just work everything out and see where you're at um in terms of uh, work Look, I do see there could be some um, issues that are do coming up for work, a bit bit of problems. Um, there's someone around you at work, I feel like, who's um, trying to still steal the show or be that confident and, and be that that sort of arrogance. I feel like there's some sort of like airy energy with this. There's some sort of fire sign with this with this person. Um, and it's it's like you're trying to control everything around you but this person is it has this really fiery aspect to them um so i do feel like there's a it's a bit of emotion coming up to at work there's a few bits and bits going on there it's a, just about biding your time and, and knowing when the time is right for you to act on what's going on as well um for most of you i don't feel like there is a lot of movement there i feel like for most of you there is uh you are going to stay in a situation who is going through the situation uh for others it's about using those networking skills and the contacts that you have um like some of you are a bit like go-getters having to make things happen and make make things move um in the terms with um the workplace or I do also see some of you too it's good for um getting a new contract so i feel like there could be some of you are moving and receiving a new contract but make sure it's the where you want to go is it's going to be right for you we'll say that um we've got here for the family i will say for some of you in the, the family there's a change going on um with i'm gonna say around sisters and brothers in the home it's a bit like a very you're very close to them but there's like yin and yang like there's there's you got a, i feel like there's a, like there's some of you have more than one sibling there's one there who looks very um you know docile very like placid person and then one you've got another another one there who's a bit more cunning i'm gonna say we use the word cunning um maybe manipulating the athlete some situation that's brewing around there with that as well i also feel like with two three like family and home i just feel like there's more disappointment there as again like that's emotion it's like where this is where i feel like the situation in the beginning about taking charge and about on guard or about fighting i feel like there's something coming up brewing with this as well um feeling about this disappointed uh, i feel like some of you have like a um sagittarian if there's Sagittarian around you in the family or they're like a Sagittarian, I tend to like Sagittarians. They're, like, they're similar to Aquarians. I'm an Aquarian. But they are they don't like to be trapped. They're a young and youthful sign like yourself too. They um like to travel but there is a there is a bit of a fire there aspect with them. So I just I just feel like there's a bit of disappointment there with this. 
when we're looking at relationships and love oh i feel like for some of you it's like you're trying very hard and you feel like that you're trapped but there is always a way out for those who are feeling this way i do feel like it could be time for maybe to move on from a certain relationship where maybe you are feeling like it's not working out not working out for you i do like for some of you guys um on the lookout for i'm gonna say a scorpio energy and for others i've got a scorpio energy i also got a uh, capricorn energy scorpio energy is about it can be a very manipulative sign they can be very they can be very loyal but you never make they always say you never make an enemy of a scorpio they have that stinger so even though they can be very loyal um a very loyal sign they can also turn that can be very manipulative as well um and for the capricorn the capricorn you're looking at a hard working person um capricorn likes to follow law and order they like to follow rules they will bend them if no one's watching but they like law and order in the world and they they like structure they're very organized people they're very hard working people so i feel like um there's these two signs around you for terms of like love and relationships uh, I feel like, it, it, as I said, for some of you, it might be time for you to leave a certain relationship. Um, for those who are single, I feel like are, that are hoping to find someone. I feel like there could be a little bit of disappointment this week um, or this month there for you with that. Um, the cards are just coming out. They're just not very positive cards that I've got here in terms of relationships. Again. Um, it's like you're trying to make your way up to you know making to the next level trying to be positive but there is just some things going on i wish it could be more of a, of a positive reading there in terms of relationships but I, I just every card i pull out it's not a positive card um so i just have to read what comes out and what i feel for you guys it's it's about not letting someone manipulate and control you but letting you be free and do what you want to do I will say that. Let's have a look. I feel like it's a good month to save money. I will say that. That's a positive for you guys. It's a good month for saving money. And I feel like it could be... I feel like possibly a good month to travel. Maybe you're traveling for Easter, for the holidays. I feel like it's a good month there for traveling as well for you. Um, and I feel like it's a good month to be friend. I feel like you've got a friend around you guys that's very, um, like an Aquarian energy. Aquarians are a very forward thinking sign. They're a sign of, um, they can be very awkward in social situations, Aquarians, but they're also um, a bit eccentric as well. But the humanitarians are very caring side, even though we're not, a, it's not an affectionate side. But I do feel like in terms of friends, confiding in that person, it's going to be very good for that this month. Um, in terms of um, in terms of health, I just feel like some of you might have a broken heart this month. I, I'm sorry, and I wish I could be a bit more um, positive, but I do just uh, things that are connecting up. There's there's some drama for you guys coming up for this month, and I'm so sorry. I wish it was a better positive reading. Um, but I will say in a as a positive way in terms of I do see you being more confident in yourself, um, being more proud in yourself, um, being more caring, maybe taking the nephews of the party there, making taking control of the party, being the life of the party. So I do see that coming out in you guys as well for this month. There's a bit of a positive spin there for you. Let me see if I can what else I can get for you for Gemini's. Okay. Gemini's. It is a time for you to rise and to open your eyes and to see what's really going around around you. No longer are you blinded, no longer will people be able to put the wool over your eyes, but you can see clearly what's going on around you. Any negative that is that is coming on around you, it is time to let it go and move on so that May you can have a joyful month and a much more month where it's happier, where things are moving forward, where you're not stuck in this situation where it's just not working out for you and it's heartbreaking and it's emotional and it's teary, where things you seem like when the one but it's not working out for you. The rest of it's not working out for you. Change the mindset. You are the jack of all trades. You're the star sign that has many, many traits and many things that you can do. 
It's also time for you to start learning new things, going out, studying, finding TAFE, finding uni, finding enrolling in that course, doing things that you want to do and that you love. You love to learn, you love to live life and you love to be very social. You love to be a social butterfly. You also love to network and be around people that you enjoy. So be around people with you enjoy, not people who find that they pick holes at you, that they're constantly harassing you, and they're not being very positive to you. Okay, Gemini's, um, we'll leave it there. Thank you for watching, sharing, and your comments, and I will see you for your horoscope for May 